Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London, and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you a quick way of inserting hyperlinks at the start of your Kaltura Media videos in order to direct students to chapters within your video. Here is a video, it's only 13 minutes long, but I've already inserted a number of chapter markers into it. If you scroll down and choose Actions, and go to Edit, you can go across to where it says Timeline and you'll see the chapter markers that I've previously inserted. The one I want to direct students to quickly is this one here, MSC Content. It takes them to the part of the video that shows them what to expect as part of their MSC. The time this happens is at 6 minutes and 53 seconds. So we're going to make a mental note of that number because we'll need it in a minute. Unfortunately, the hyperlink content within Kaltura does not allow you to link directly to chapters, but will allow you to link to times within your video, and this is why it's important to remember this time. I can now scroll up and launch the editor. Once the editor is launched, I go to the left-hand side and choose the third button, which is Hotspots. Remembering 6 minutes and 53 seconds, I can then scroll through to the start of the video where I want this hotspot to appear. Around 5 seconds in, when the first slide appears, is where I want it. I can now choose to add this hotspot, and in the text I'm going to type in MSC content. Rather than choosing a URL, I'm going to choose time within this video, and in this box I'm going to type in 6 minutes and 53 seconds. If I want, I can go to the Advanced Settings and I can change the size of the text and the roundness of the box. For instance, I want this box fairly large and the text fairly obvious. And I'm going to place this window down the side over here. Once I'm happy with those settings, I can click on Save. If you want to edit this hotspot, you can simply go to the drop-down list next to the hotspot and go back into the editing and you can also edit the Advanced Settings. One setting you may want to check is how long this actually appears for. At the moment, this is set to appear for the entire timeline. This is probably not what you want. You probably want it to only run for about 10 seconds. So I'm going to adjust this and have it appearing at 0.05 seconds and leaving at 15 seconds into the video. Once you're happy, save it. Now you've added a hotspot in this video that will appear at 5 seconds in and last on the screen for 10 seconds. So let's return to the media and have a look. We're now back on the media page and I can press play and we can watch to see the hyperlink appear. So the video starts and at 5 seconds we should see the hyperlink appear on the right hand side. There it is. I can now click on this hyperlink and it takes me directly to the part of the video concerning MSC content and continues to play. Using these hyperlinks you can direct your students or colleagues to parts of your video. If you want, you could actually leave hyperlinks enabled across the top or the side of your video throughout your presentation to allow quick and easy navigation. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.